Welcome to BlackstoneBass.com. As you can see tonight, we're going to be trying to put this outdrive back together. The last video was how to prime paint and uh, take care of your outdrive. The first thing you need to do is get you a good schematics. Right here, you can get these online. I'll put some links in the video description. Uh, this is a Volvo DP David Paul Dash Charlie One outdrive. It's a 1996 off of my boat. Um, get you a good schematic so you can see what parts you need to order. I'm replay. I replaced all the O rings and every seal. Also, if you go online, you can get how to take it apart, assemble, disassemble, and um, also get your parts list so you can run down what O ring is what. Um, one little trick that I did that helped us was I went and put everything in a separate bag. Tonight I'm fixing the lower unit, and so I got everything in the lower unit bag, the bolts, the seals, the O-rings. Same for the intermediate housing, which is over here, and the uh, upper housing, which we've already done. And I'd like to give a special shout out to my man Clarence sitting in the chair here using his shop. He's my, uh, he's my boat sensei, and I'm the grasshopper. So we'll see if we can't get this outdrive back together and uh, get her running. Plastic piece back there with stick on there. I know. But it, it won't stick, will it? No. So that thing's going to be a, It's going to move all around. You want to take a piece of wood and try to tap it in there? I think that's what it What's going on up in there? Uh -huh. All right, hold it. Thank you. Ha! Ah, we got this half up. I wasn't going to put this part on, I was going to block it off, but you got to put this on and run it to the back of the helmet to keep the spacing correct on this uh, sleeve. Yeah, that thing looks like... This is the water intake, huh? Yeah, that thing looks like it's up in there. Oh, it gets that shoulder, doesn't it? Well, see where it's sitting? Yeah. Like yes, sir. I don't know. This thing looks like a little thick to go up in there, don't it? But it's broke off. It shouldn't have been up in there that deep, I think. Maybe over time, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Find it. Right in there. I don't really need no grease on this. I'm not gonna bring any water up this way. I guess I'll put it on there like would, just in case, yeah. right? It's just you don't need much. You know, I'm switching out the way to bring the water in through the bottom, through, through hole fit instead of just through the lid, through the drive stuff. But yeah, just a little put bit. Put a little grease on it. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Don't need much. Just to make you have to see. You know what? I bet I gotta clean that hole out. Where I got paint in there. Of course, everything's gonna be right in the way. That's what I was thinking. Now, look. <clears throat> oh, this thing got a little adjustment on it. I like that. It clicks. Never had no fancy thing like that. This little. I ain't got a clue where that comes from. <laughs> I like it though. It's like a ratchet, gives you one click at a time. Yeah. Things in backwards order sometimes. Yeah. If you're wondering what we're doing, we're trying to put this piece on where the raw water intake comes in. Even though I'm running it through the floor, I need it there to space this sleeve correctly to get the bottom spacer. Right. Clarence's glue here, some fat grease to keep this in the hole until we can set it on the lower part of the drive. Let's see if that works. But uh Sticks perfect. You're so smart, Clarence. All right. Now, now that we got the part on here for the intake, <clears throat> we follow the directions it says insert the oil strainer number five we've done that here's the oil strainer as you see over here okay. here's the oil strainer hey, John. But, uh, do you think if you put something here and level this thing up make sure it make it easier make sure it easier. we need to do that yes yeah. all right oil strainer gear housing uh spacer sleeve number one is the um vertical shaft with groove in the up position Okay, and we got our O-ring on the bottom right here is greased up ready to go and then everything is right on the intermediate housing Here we got another sleeve here and a new O-ring so we should be ready to put together as soon as we right. get that level You want to put some? Oh, that's yeah, we got to put the uh, sealer put a, on here. Did you put a smidge in the grease in the O-ring? Yes, do you want more than that? No, just, they don't need, need much, but I'll do a little more just make right, let's see. We gotta we gotta put that uh what we do with the, uh, aircraft sealer in between there or whatever. What we do with the uh here just 
I'll put this up so I won't get lost. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to clean up. Yeah. I'm going to try to clean up, Clarence. Right. This is my little homemade outdrive stand out of a hey, workbench. Out of a... Don't know if I'm going back. Yeah, there we go. I need to slide back, Clarence. Can you slide the whole thing back to you? Or hold the thing from moving? Let's got to go back. Because we don't put that sealer except on the outside of this, right? right. Don't get on that. Where's the bolt? Hey, welcome back. The only thing I got for the lower is these smaller ones. I thought you were going back. I thought you were out. Gosh, he can do it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so, there's one oddball, one somewhere. Why is there only one lock washer in there? Must go on this one. All right, so I think we put the stuff on and set it on there, right? Okay. Let me double check so this is intermediate. What the hell? I'll put these back in there because it goes to something. So only the shorties get the get the washers. They don't seem right. Yeah, it don't show no washer, does it? Right here. No, it don't show no washer. They had box tight on, didn't they? You know what? That last one don't either. You know that? Did it? Look like right here. Yeah. Well, let me see what it says. That's why I didn't have the washer on. That's why I wasn't washer on it. Yeah, this might have to have Loctite. Let me double check what it is. Thread locking compound. Volvo print part number, yes. That's why I don't have the on it. Tighten the four large screws diagonally in a certain sequence of torque wrench, 38, 28 foot pounds of pressure. Well, you can't put a torque wrench on it. You can't get it to it. You gotta have special tool number eight five 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 zero eight. <laughs> All right. Did I cut off a? We cut off a. Allen wrench. Oh, Allen wrench. I'm sure I can find it. No. Oh. I'm pretty sure I found the get shorty homemade Volvo two nine seven uh, <laughs> Allen wrench. This one with the blue tape must be it. It's got to fit in this short hole right here because it won't fit because there's no height under here. I got, uh, this has got to be it because it's got blue tape on it. Okay. I got uh, water pump on cut off. Oh, you really got a water problem? All right.